Osborne Distillery worked incredibly hard to curtail the Glentoran attack in the first half, so nothing to report until the 13th minute. Jason Hill, the supplier for Richard Clark, but Clark's shot was straight at Phil Matthews in the White's nets. After both Andy Waterworth and Matty Burrows failed to penetrate the White's defence, former distillery player Neil Gawley found himself in space, but the shot was off target. David Howland bravely attempted this effort from 25 yards out on 17 minutes. Perhaps he should have looked at the other options available to him. Tommy Wright's men threatened shortly after. The offside flag stayed down as Gary Brown picked up Glenn Ferguson's cross, but Jason Hill put in a fine challenge to deny him the goal. The first real excitement of the half came on 35 minutes. Neil Gawley's shot superbly saved by Phil Matthews, who then denied Darrell Fordyce with the rebound the visiting keeper standing firm under extreme pressure. And Golly Matthews squared up again on 40 minutes, a strong delivery which the veteran keeper dealt with admirably. Gary Brown, who would be the man to spook Glen Torn early in the second half, played his part in the two chances before the break. He set up Mark Patton and then put up an ambitious solo effort himself. After some sterling work from Glenn Ferguson, Brown made it 1-0 four minutes into the second half, casually tucking the ball away as it flew across the Glen's goal mouth. Stand-in keeper James Taylor foiled. 1-0 Lisburn Distillery. Glen Torren were awarded a penalty on 68 minutes when Pat McShane foiled Neil Gawley. But Phil Matthews saved Daryl Fordyce's spot kick. Scott Young's side really pushed for the equaliser, Fordyce making up for the missed penalty by beating Matthews at the near post on 79 minutes. Then came the late, late show from Lisburn Distillery to steal the victory. Referee Arnold Hunter awarding a penalty after Paul Lehman fouled Gary Brown. Brown stepped up to the mark to make it 2-1. Tommy Wright's men then made it a memorable day out at the Oval when substitute Gary Liggett fired home this goal in the 92nd minute. 3-1 final score. Great result. I mean, to come here uh, and come away with a 3-1 victory, we were absolutely delighted. Uh, you know, it was a good overall it was a good game. And, uh, you know, Glenn Torn put us under pressure after they equalised. But we showed a lot of courage to to. to we dig it out basically for five ten minutes. You know, Phil Matthews made a couple of good saves, and getting the second and third goal, or getting the second goal and then the third goal was the, the icing on the cake for us. Very very disappointing. Um, another night I praise the players for 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 the second half performance against Crusaders, but today um, I think it's the first time this season that I that I can honestly say that uh, it was embarrassing to be perfectly honest. With you. Um, com- completely not good enough. What disappointed you the most about the performance? The lacklustre manner and how we started the game and it continued throughout the 90 minutes. We had chances then, um, you know, to, we missed a penalty, we had chances after that to, to go on and win the game. And then what we did at the end was was criminal. And um, well, it was going to home fans here and then and, and the, you know, they saw it from themselves. And Bottom line, it was embarrassing today. That's, that's, I'm not going to hide that fact it was.